Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the jQuery click event. Now, as discussed in previous tutorials, we are keeping the in inline JavaScript, um, uh, we're basically eradicating it. We're not trying to keep it as minimal as possible. We're just getting rid of it. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at the click event, which is an extremely uh, well used or, or highly used uh, event due to the fact that when we click on things, we want them to hide, show, update, uh, etc. Now in this tutorial, we're going to look at um, a button that's going to be able to be clicked. We're going to use jQuery to listen for the event. So we're going to create an event handler. And then we're going to show a particular bit of information, such as a paragraph. So let's go ahead and first of all create our uh, markup, uh, which is going to allow us to see what we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to create is um, a button. And this button is going to be type button. And uh, the value of this is going to be hide. Um, the ID of this, we're going to give it a... Uh, an ID of hide message. Now remember that ID uh, uniquely references this button, so this element on the page. So we can use jQuery to reference uh, when we want the hide message button to be clicked, or we're going to look out for when it is clicked. The next thing we're going to do is create a paragraph. Let me just bring this down. And this is going to be this is a message. So essentially what we're doing is we're clicking this button to show this div or to hide this div, sorry. Let's go back and click uh, refresh our page in our browser. You can see that we've got the paragraph here, this is a message, and also the hide button as well. So when we click that, um, that should hide. Okay, so uh, now what we want to do is um, ensure we have uh, jQuery included on our page at the, at the bottom of our body, the bottom of our body area. Uh, we now want to create a separate file that's going to handle the clicking of uh, this button. So we can call it anything we like. We're not really talking about file structure or naming conventions, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a file inside the JS folder, and I'm just going to call this click.js. So click.js is going to handle the event um, and the function uh, that we carry out when this button is clicked. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we want to do is reference the element. So we use a dollar sign and then in brackets, we use a textual representation of the element name. And this starts with a hash. And then remember the name of the button was hide underscore message. So we just go ahead and write hide underscore message. Now we need the event handler and this is dot click. And then we end it with two parentheses and a uh, line terminator semicolon. Now dot click handles this event, so when hide message is complete, everything inside this pr in this in, in these uh, parentheses um, will be taken into account. Now what we need is a um, a function that lets us carry out an event once this click handler has uh, has realised that the button has been clicked. So we need to create a function inside of this here. So we create a function as we usually would with parentheses. We obviously don't take any arguments because we're just gonna be carrying out a block of code essentially. We need a starting block and an ending block using uh, curly brackets. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these down a couple of lines and in. So now we have this workspace in here to write the code we want to happen when uh, the uh, hide message button is clicked. So essentially this uh, could be written all on one line um, like this. Um, but you can now un hopefully understand why we bring it down and start to work in here. So now what we want to do is uh, actually hide the button. So, uh, or hide the paragraph. So we again reference the paragraph, so hash message. Remember we called the paragraph, oh no we didn't, so we need to give that an ID, so the ID of message. So we've given the I uh, this paragraph an ID of message then we reference it with here, hash message, and then we just say dot hide, and then we use brackets. Uh, you'll notice the color difference between click and hide. Um, hide is a uh, function, um, well, I mean click is a, an event handler, and hide is actually a function. 
So, okay, uh, now that we've done that, uh, when the hide message is clicked, we're going to uh, actually hide this message. Now there's one thing we need to do beforehand and that's include this click.js file onto our page. So we type in here script type is equal to text JavaScript. So the type attribute is JavaScript. And we also need to give that a source as well as ending the paragraph, just uh, ending the script um, tag just there. That's js forward slash click.js. So now that this um, now that this is all set up. Um, we have no inline code at all, but we have an event handler to handle the clicking of this button. Let's go ahead and test it in our browser. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the page. When I click hide, you'll see that the message is hidden. Now, a bit later on, we're going to be looking more at the hide function in jQuery and things that we can pass to it, um, different parameters we can pass to it. However, for now, um, we have just um, created our, our first event handler, which is click. Now, there are many more event handlers that you'll see coming up in the rest of this series. But for now, this is probably the most basic and most used event handler, which is a clicking on uh, a specific element. Now, you'll also notice that we don't just have to apply this to buttons. We could, of course, uh, get rid of this input here and use a link. So let's go ahead and type um, hide. Um, the href is nothing. We just put a hash in here uh, so we don't reload the current page, but we don't um, not do anything. Um, and the ID of this is going to be hide message. Now, this code will work with the change we've just made. We're referencing hide message and we're saying when it's clicked, hide the message. So let's go and look at the difference that we've just made there. We've got a link instead of a button. And when we click it, we get exactly the same effect. And you'll see this hash here that I was talking about earlier. That will crop up and you've probably seen it on a lot of other websites, um, but that's not really anything to worry about. So we've now uh, created a link that hides a message and I highly encourage you to go ahead and create some other elements um, on a page, uh, how you'd also uh, you know, hide an element. Uh, it can be used with uh, most HTML elements.